All right, hello everybody. This is part three of applying snake skins to your bow. Uh, last time I was with you in part two, we applied the copperhead skins to the bow. Let's uh, give you a look at how it turned out here. You got your uh, one limb, and there's the other limb. Now if we flip it over, you can see there's a lot of excess skin and some glue and all that kind of craziness on both pretty much both limbs this is how I like to clean it up what I do is I take this uh, I guess it's a drywall block but I've got I've got 50 grit um, belt sander sandpaper on here and uh, what you do what I like to do, you can take a razor blade to this if you want to. What I like to do is lay the sandpaper right on the edge of the bow and just push. You see how nice the uh, cut is? Cuts it right, cuts it right off. And then you just sort of work your way down the bow. And you got some glue, that's glue, that's not skin anymore, it's just excess glue. Takes it right down the sides, just like that. And you can see there's the wood, there's the skin. Yeah, I even caught a little bit too much skin here, and that's the danger with razor blades. It's also the danger with sandpaper. But I am going to wrap this with uh, leather or something, and when I do, I'll cover up some of that. But I'll I'll make it pretty in between. All right, um, so we're going to take a pause here. This is going to be a short video. I'm going to do this to all one, two, three, four sides. And what I'm going to do after that is uh, we're going to take the scales off the bow, off the skins, excuse me. And then uh, we're going to clean up the tips where, you know, it didn't, you know, make it pretty. And uh, we will have skins on the bow. Uh, I may do one more video afterwards where I wrap the bow and then seal it for you, and then I'll, I'll shoot it. But uh, for now, quick video on how to trim, trim the uh, skins off your bow. The one thing is always go in one direction. I just went like this, but I wasn't on the skin, I was on the glue. That's just for glue removal. But when you're actually cutting the skin, you just want to go down and away. You don't want to... You don't want to do this or you risk tearing the skin up higher on the bow. Okay? Alright, we'll see you back for part four.